what is going on youtube it's your boy dollar mike back at again with another solid video another dividend video for you guys you guys love the dividend videos i love doing research on dividends so we got another one for you guys today i'm gonna be talking about two dividend stocks in this video that i think are honestly super solid investments either one is great when i first thought about this video i was thinking of comparing the two but honestly they're both great investments so you should probably just choose for yourself i'm gonna let you choose for yourself so either way i'm not gonna waste any more time let's jump into the video let's talk about these two dividend stocks they're fire let's go Before we jump in, it's always appreciated if you guys could drop a like on the video. That basically just pushes the video out to more people so more people can see it, stuff like that. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this because I provide plenty of that and I have tons of videos coming up in the future. Check out those links down below to get yourself some free stocks, cryptocurrency, and other good stuff. And the last couple of plugs that are great news for you, I have a free Discord community. Link down below in the description for that, all free. We talk about stocks, everything personal finance, all there, and a Patreon. I have a Patreon as well for just further support for the channel. Let's not waste any more time let's begin let's talk about these dividend stocks right now so these two dividend stocks are pretty similar when it comes to the industry that they're in but overall they're very different and that's why i separated them both and i think you should be invested in both if you could be either way the first one on the list is ticker symbol g t y getty realty getty realty pays a quarterly dividend and has a current dividend yield of 4.8 percent when as of recording this video the stock price of getty realty is 31 dollars 36 a share getty realty is a reit so it's a real estate investment trust and it's also also another REIT dividend stock that I love to talk about on the channel. I love my REITs and just here's another one on the list for you guys. They have a current enterprise value of over $2 billion and Getty Realty is basically a single tenant REIT that covers convenience stores, gas stations, auto repair shops, car washes, and basically 76% of that or the majority of that is convenience stores and gas stations. They have over 1,000 properties across 36 states and Washington, D.C., and those properties are 99% occupied or a little bit over 99% occupied. So basically, every property that they own, they're actually getting rent money every single month from those particular properties. On top of that, they're also ESP friendly. If you guys don't know what that is, make sure you check out my previous video talking about ESP. It's a new investment strategy, I guess you could say, but overall ESP stands for environmental, social, and governance. Basically those three aspects of a company would actually determine how well off the company would be long-term. Is it really a good long-term investment when it comes to the environmental things that they're doing to the environment? Is it a long-term investment when it comes to the social things such as taking care of their customers, their employees, all that kind of stuff? And lastly, is it really a long-term investment when it comes to the governance of the company who are the actual people that run the company how's the leadership at the company are their shareholders happy or things like that going on getty realty or gty has also had consistent dividend increases for a little bit over three years now and they've been paying a consistent dividend since 2013. as i mentioned before they are a quarterly dividend stock so you'll get paid out four times instead of every single month you'll get paid out four times throughout the entire year and their current payout ratio you'll get paid roughly 39 cents per share now, as of today, I did establish a very, very, very small position of about $5 in Getty Realty simply because I'm waiting for a solid entry point. Once I find that solid entry point or once I get that solid entry point, if the stock price drops a little bit, then I'll go ahead and invest a lot more income or a lot more money into Getty Realty. So if the stock price drops to about $28.79 a share, then my limit buy will trigger. And at that point, I'll go ahead and buy a lot of shares of Getty Realty. And I haven't mentioned this on the channel yet in particular. I always tell you guys that I'm pretty happy with my portfolio right now i'm pretty solid i'm pretty good with the stocks that i have in there so i'm mainly just adding to the positions that i have but i didn't have a solid goal in mind so thank you very much to sierra spark sound for the comment sierra had recommended 50 to 125 shares minimum and i can ride with that so basically here we go 50 to 125 shares minimum of every single dividend stock in my portfolio that's kind of my goal right now so that's what we're gonna that's what i'm gonna run with on the cheaper side of things, I'll probably buy more of the cheaper stocks and then less of the more expensive ones because obviously it costs a lot of money to get the 50 to 125 shares minimum of every single dividend stock in my particular portfolio. So that's the goal. We're going to ride with it. But yeah, either way, let's actually move on to the second stock on this list today. So the other stock I want to mention on this list today is a stock that everyone's talking about everyone's hype about everyone really loves as far as i've seen that is ticker symbol stag s-t-a-g stag industrial who stag pays a monthly dividend and they have a current dividend yield of 3.76 percent they have a current enterprise value of over seven billion dollars and they are also a single tenant reit just like gty they're also a single tenant reit that offers industrial properties but instead of just buying gas stations and convenience stores and all that kind of stuff stag mainly focuses on 
warehouses. Of course, since Stag actually owns warehouses, their customers actually need those warehouses. So they have customers like Amazon, they have customers like FedEx, Ford, Costco, and many more. And on top of that, those customers are actually split up across over 20 different industries. So we got air and freight and logistics, we got containers and packaging, auto components, machinery, household durables, media, food and staples retailing, building products, food products, beverages, specialty retail, chemicals, road and rail, and many, many more. Just like Getty Realty, they are ESP friendly and they take those ratings very seriously. They have over a 97% occupancy according to the latest annual report with 494 properties across 39 different states. That's nearly 100 million square feet in warehouse space owned by them, paid for by the tenants, and sprinkled down into the form of a monthly dividend to us. Solid, solid. That monthly dividend has a current payout of about 12 cents per share. And honestly, I think a solid entry point for Stag is anywhere between $32 and $36 a share. As of recording this video, Stag is sitting at $38.15 a share. So there you go. Those are two more dividend stocks that I think are super solid investments. Let me know which one you like more, if you like both, if you wanna be invested in both. I personally wanna be invested in both, but I'm starting my position first with ticker symbol GTY or Getty Realty. Getty Realty and Stag. Let me know which one you're all about down in the comment section below. Stag pays that monthly dividend of about 12 cents a share. And if Getty Realty paid a monthly dividend, it'd be roughly 13 cents a share so overall about the same thing remember Getty Realty pays a quarterly dividend so four times a year instead of every single month but if they did pay one it'll be about 13 cents a share so like I said overall roughly about the same thing I like both of these companies I think they're pretty solid companies I think they have a lot of growth to offer especially with stag so we'll see what happens in the future but I'm definitely investing in both starting with Getty Realty. If I see my price targets get hit for Stag, especially if it drops below $32 a share, I'll definitely jump in. And for GTY, under $28 a share, I'll definitely jump in as well. Either way, great investments. Overall, dollar cost average, do what you gotta do to get yourself a position established on one of these because they're pretty solid. So that's really all I have for this video. Make sure you guys like the video if you actually did enjoy it. If you learned something, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more dividends. Let me know down in the comment section below if you wanna see more dividend type of videos. Um, check out the Discord, as I mentioned before. Check out the Patreon, as I mentioned before. And get yourself some free stocks. You can start your portfolio with M1 Finance. You'll get a free $30 with my link down below. Robinhood, you're going to get a free stock. Webull, you're going to get two free stocks. Public, you're going to get a free stock. It's plenty of places that you can go and invest in these stocks if you want to do it and get yourself some free money. That's simple. Um, Yeah, and that's kind of it. I'll have some crypto stuff coming up very soon. Maybe like next week, I would say. Um, this week is going to be more dividend stuff and uh, portfolio updates. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for the support. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Take care of yourselves. Dollar Mike. Peace.